In fundamental problem F12-1, we are given a car that initially travels along a straight road with a speed of 35 meters per second. And then if the brakes are applied and the speed of the car is reduced to 10 meters per second in 15 seconds, determine the constant deceleration of the car. So first of all, starting off with our givens here, we are given an initial speed of 35 meters per second. And since we know that speed is essentially the magnitude of velocity, I'll go ahead and say v naught is equal to 35 meters per second. And then we're given a second velocity after the 15 seconds, which we can call v2 or simply v, which is 10 meters per second. And lastly, of course, we're given time, which is t, and that is 15 seconds. So now we have all of our known values written down. And the last thing we have is that we need to determine the constant deceleration. So here we're dealing with constant acceleration. And now before I move on here, make sure you have watched my introduction to dynamics video, which there will be a link in the description below. In order for you to clearly understand the concepts and procedures involved in this problem. Right, so now back to it. We know that constant acceleration AC is equal to the derivative of velocity with respect to time. So AC equals dv by dt. And this is important for us since we are given, of course, the speed, aka velocity, of the car. And once again, of course, remember that speed is equivalent to the magnitude of velocity. And now the next thing we want to do is write velocity as a function of time. And to do that, of course, we want to integrate our acceleration, since, of course, that is taking the antiderivative of dv by dt, which will essentially give us velocity. Now, for the first equation, we want to separate dv and dt, so I will isolate dv in order to integrate. So we have dv equals a sub c times dt. And so now we are ready to integrate. I will integrate dv from v naught, which is v initial to some velocity v, assuming v0 is equal to v at t equals 0. So now on the other side, I will integrate from 0 to some time t, just like so. Hence, integrating on the left side, we have v minus v0, which is equal to integrating on the right side, we have a sub c times t. Since, of course, the integral of dt at t is simply t. And the integral at 0 is just going to be ac times 0, which is just 0. So now, hence, after simplifying this and adding v0 to the right side, we will get v equals a sub c times t plus v0, which I'll simply call equation 1. And so... This is simply velocity as a function of time, of course, strictly at constant acceleration. And so now hopefully you can see how this equation can directly help us find the constant deceleration, a sub c. And now something that's really useful is memorizing the three constant acceleration formulae, all of which I derived in my introduction video. That way you don't have to be deriving each one through integration each time you solve a problem involving constant acceleration. However, it's still really helpful to understand how these variables are related through integration and differentiation. So now back to the problem, we can now simply substitute in the known values into our equation. Since we have v naught of 35 meters per second, which is again our initial velocity and of course our velocity v of 10 meters per second and our time t of 15 seconds. So now plugging in these values into our equation we have 10 meters per second is equal to a sub c times 15 seconds plus 35 meters per second and of course here we are solving for a sub c. Hence here we can subtract the 35 to the left, so that'll be 10 minus 35, which is negative 25, and that is equal to a sub c times 15, 
And now dividing the 15 seconds to the left, we have negative 25 meters per second divided by 15 seconds. So therefore we get a sub C is equal to negative 1.67 meters per second squared, which of course makes sense here since the car is decelerating and deceleration is essentially negative, assuming that negative acceleration is to the left and positive is to the right. Although another way you can write this is a sub c equals 1.67 meters per second squared and indicating the direction of the acceleration with an arrow to the left. And so we have found the constant deceleration of the car.